Cinematic motion blur inside of DaVinci Resolve is sometimes kind of a mysterium. And today I'm going to show you three ways how you can apply motion blur to your video, but also to your animation. Without wasting any more time, let's start directly first with how to apply motion blur to your video clips. So this approach is pretty straightforward. You simply search the effect motion blur in your effects panel, or even faster, just select the clip and hit shift plus spacebar and type the name of it, and it gets automatically applied. This one is only available in studio, but later I'll show you how to achieve the same effect in the free version. Now in the inspector window, you've got a few options. Here you can basically choose the quality, Faster will be easier for your computer and better will slow your system down but will give you a better result. Motion range is basically how big your motion is. If you have fast moving large objects, then choose large. And if there is just small movement happening, go for a small. Then here you can choose the intensity of your blur. Fine tune it until you like it. But to be clear, this won't work if you keyframe, for example, your text where you create a simple animation in the inspector window. If you apply this motion blur now, there is happening absolutely nothing. If you want to add motion blur in your keyframed animation, you need to approach a different method. Therefore, you should not do your animation in your default inspector window because there is no motion blur setting. That's why we need to search in our tool menu the transform effect and apply it to our clip. Now we want to do all our animation inside this transform effect. So animate your text here how you want it, and once you're finished, you head down to the section Animation, where you can find the Motion Blur slider and adjust it to your liking. This works, of course, also for any kind of object that you animate with this transform effect. Doesn't matter if it's a shape or a picture. But to get even more control, I anyway highly recommend you to do all your animation in the Fusion page. So let's bring in an adjustment clip into our timeline from our effects panel, which is basically an empty clip where we can add some adjustments to it. Just hover over it with your playhead and we head over into the fusion page. Now we have a media in, which is nothing than our blank background. So let's add an element like a text. And if we connect it to the output of our media in, the text gets automatically merged over our background. Let's select the text and in the inspector window type whatever you want. Now we're going to bring in a transform node, which is this one right here, and make sure to connect it into our node tree. By selecting this node, we can head over into the inspector window again, and there we'll set our keyframes. Then move forward and change our values so we have our animation. And if we go now to our settings, you will find the checkbox motion blur, which we want to activate. And then we've got again controls where we can fine tune our motion blur. Here again, we have our copies. And if you want more than only 10 copies, you can in Fusion always type in your desired value and it's taking this one. And now if you play it back, we have a clean motion blur. So the final thing I am going to show is how to add motion blur into a video inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve because there you can't use the motion blur effect of the effects pool. So all you need to do is selecting your video and head over to the fusion page and hit shift plus spacebar to open the tool menu and search for the effect optical flow and put it into your node tree. And right after you want to put another node which is called vector motion blur. And again, in the inspector, you will be able to adjust the intensity of your motion. So if there's something that you can take away from this today's lesson is that you always do your keyframes inside a transform node or inside a transform effect so you can add motion blur. See you at the next one and let's start creating.